Hello, I'm a VX Toy Cam. Welcome back to so another commentary style video. Today I wanted to get something off my chest that's been on there for quite some time because Minecraft gets a lot of flack from a lot of different people, but I think there's not enough of a defense for what is soon going to be the most sold game of all time. Not just the best selling game of the last 10 years, but the best selling game ever. So, with that said, let's talk about the counter arguments to what people like to say about Minecraft because people often say that Minecraft is dead or that Minecraft's cringy or it's only for kids these days or it's irrelevant or whatever they like to say. There are so many ways people attack Minecraft and they like to generally just say it's over rated and not too many people play it, but I think the opposite is true. I think Minecraft is criminally underrated and let me explain why with today's video. So I hope you all do enjoy it, but let's dive straight into it by talking about the first and most important thing that everyone misses about Minecraft and that is the fact that it's such a soothing rhythmic game. So if you've never spotted the rhythm in Minecraft before, pay attention to the background and you'll see how what was previously just placing pretty, you know, repetitive blocks is actually a consistent rhythmic and even if it is repetitive, it's very soothing for a lot of people. The way you can build something and just do this same kind of action over and over again but still accomplish something and build something big. This is something that I think really contributes towards making Minecraft not only one of the biggest games on YouTube in terms of culturally speaking but it's the most watched game on YouTube and there's a good reason for that. It's a very easy and calming game to watch and you know the fact that it's easy to watch means it's also very easy to play. If you've never played Minecraft, you've never done a big build like this, it's super super satisfying. You can just sit there and really just kind of zone out if you want to. You can use it as an opportunity to think about other things or you can focus on what you're building or you can focus on all sorts of manners of things, but the fact that it's a simple repetitive gameplay mechanic, which isn't boring to most people. There's a reason so many amazing builds have been made in Minecraft, because people manage to use this same basic mechanic to build bigger and bigger things. You're only seeing a wall being made slowly in this video, but you can make much bigger things in Minecraft, as you can see looking around this world, or really just taking a look at any Minecraft community out there, you'll start to see that almost anything seems like it's possible in Minecraft, and that is my second point for today's video, because Minecraft gives you the ability to create anything. So. In 2018, sandbox game doesn't really usually mean sandbox very much anymore. It usually just means a different type of mission that, you know, you're railroaded into in a slightly different way. If anyone's played GTA or Red Dead Redemption, you'll understand the exact point behind that. Like, yeah, the game is technically a sandbox you can technically do anything with, but the game is very, very strict in saying, no, you actually should go here and do this. Minecraft is a true sandbox. There is no real guiding. There is technically an end, but the game never tells you about it. You can find out about it online. You can tell each other about the story, but the actual goal of Minecraft is exactly what you want it to be and you can not only set your own goals in Minecraft and decide to find whatever you want to which means there are so many surprises still being found to this day but you can also create anything you want to. Do you want to make a huge replica of a motor inside Minecraft because cars are your passion? You can do that. Do you want to make a replica of your real life house because you want to see what it'll look like inside a game with villagers or whatever? You can do that. Do you not enjoy the whole like artistic thing of making huge pixel art builds? Well then you can focus on a more technical side of building. This is one of the things that I've always loved about Minecraft because the interest in me just like using it as like a painting canvas, that's not what I personally love in Minecraft. A lot of people do love that, it's a creative outlet, but for me it's like trying to maximize a farm for instance, that is actually quite fun for me. I love the idea of trying to maximize something within Minecraft, beat the game mechanics, and that's what makes Minecraft beautiful. It is a sandbox game that actually is a sandbox. I think in 2018 so many games call themselves open world, or they call themselves sandboxes, but they really just give you slightly more choices than a normal game would, but this is a game which gives you no direction, which just says, here is a world world, do what you will with it, and then you can find the secrets you want to, and that is why the community loves it. That's why people can continuously play it and come back to it year after year after year, because you'll always find something new. And although you can find something new in the exact same versions, so many people still play 1.8 and still enjoy those older Minecraft versions, a lot of people love the fact that Minecraft was one of the first regularly updated games. I would even argue that Minecraft changed the entire games industry from kind of thinking about games as this product you push out and then you work on the sequel or whatever, to but moving to a world where, yeah, you release a game, then you release a better version of the game, then an even better version, and so on and so forth, and hope that that pushes more people to buy your game. And in Minecraft's case, it has worked. Not only is Minecraft selling a lot of copies, it's selling over a million copies a month right now, uh, but the, uh, the rate of its uh, you know pace is actually speeding up whenever they release major updates. They have worked out a science of like, if you just make a game better and better, more and more people want to buy it, and that is one of the reasons, not only why it's one of the best selling games of all time, but also why it's changed the entire culture of how updates seem to work in video games these days. So my third point here is definitely that Minecraft was one of the first regularly updated games that did release and uh, to put it in perspective as to how many there has been. So Minecraft has been officially released for about seven years and it's had 13 major updates in that time. But even before that, between 2009 and 2011, there were hundreds of individual updates and that's one of the things that really helped rise the game into its place, but then also helps to sustain it. Every six months or so, if you feel like, you know, I think I've done everything there is to do in Minecraft, guess what, a quad update. There's a brand new, uh, you know, ocean to explore with new
new ocean ravines, new ocean structures, and this not only expands the creativity within the ocean, but going back to the ability to create anything, it means that there are brand new things that you can make new builds out of. One of my favorite things about the aquatic update was the fact that even if you only explored for a bit, you got yourself a conduit, you could do conduit art. It was a you know a really fun challenge to see who can make the best looking conduit. But even if you don't care about the technical side of the game, you're just like, I want to build things uh, in creative, don't care about any of this. There are new blocks in every single update to expand your creative potential. You can make better versions of previous builds, or you can make entirely new things that just wouldn't have made sense before. And that is something that can only be done because of huge updates. So yeah, that is three big points that make Minecraft better than any other game on the market. It has a rhythm which really can't be matched by any other game of this type on the market. It has the ability to create anything. It's a true sandbox, which gives you the power. And it also is one of the most updated games that really pushed the entire industry to deciding to regularly update rather than release new sequels. And because of all of those things, uh, even though Minecraft has changed a lot over the last seven years, it has grown and always expanded and always got more people into the community. So the points people say on the opposite side of this is that, you know, oh, the community actually uh, really sucks. I really hate the Minecraft community because all it is is it's 11 year olds that play the game or it's like seven year olds. Or maybe the game is only for people that haven't discovered other games yet or it's only for autistic people. But the truth is, even though all of those communities are no doubt huge players of Minecraft, it's just a well-known fact, it doesn't mean they're the only people who play Minecraft. The truth is, anything that has over 100 million people across the globe united by one factor is probably going to have people in that group that you don't like or you don't want to associate yourself with. Think about, I don't know, America. There's 300 million people that live in America, but yet if you, you couldn't say, for instance, that you hate Americans or that you think all Americans are rednecks or bad people or whatever else uh, criticism you might come up with, because uh, trying to generalize a huge group like that, there's going to be people you like and people you don't like in any huge group. You can't say that, oh yeah, Brazilians are way better than Americans because insert reason here. It's like that doesn't really make much sense. You can make those statements as a fun generalization, but it doesn't mean they have any basis in reality. And yeah, the truth is in any community, in any large group of people, there are people you'd like, there are people you don't like. In any size group that large, even if you take a group of people, there is literally no defense of, right? If you're like, okay, let's take the people who kill puppies. And it's like, oh yeah, there's this one guy in there though, who only killed it to say, you know, like to save it from some pain or something. It's like, oh yeah, that that is kind of different. Trying to generalize any group is kind of ridiculous. And Minecraft, a game as big as it is, which is big across so many demographics, uh, I think giving it a negative stereotype is something the world, of course, is going to do because that's how, uh, you know, the world reacts to anything. Any huge, uh, you know, fad, people enjoy them, but also people make fun of them because that's how any major thing does. So yeah, the community of Minecraft is what you want to make it to be. You don't have to interact with any part of the community you don't want to. And that's another beauty of Minecraft. It's a single player game. That's how I treat it, but can also be a hugely multiplayer game. There is as much or as little community in Minecraft as you like, unlike some games, which are truly multiplayer games that just have a single player tacked on or single player games that had a multiplayer kind of tacked on. Minecraft is just as good of a game playing by yourself or with five people or a group of 500 on a server. There are still servers that have been continuously running since 2010. And that's because people have been enjoying the game since then. And that, that just kind of shows that Minecraft's community is as much or as little as you'd like to make it. So the other criticism you can kind of make in the modern age of Minecraft is what about the monetization? So Minecraft's monetization actually used to be a pinnacle of just how to sell a game. It's cheaper than any other, you know, like major uh, game out there. And although these days it has a lot more monetization within the game. So, you know, there are microtransactions if you want to buy maps and stuff. The truth is compared to every other game's in-game monetization, every other game which uh, has regular updates and which, uh, you know, expects to keep the game regularly informed and excited, etc., usually has some huge system within the game for buying DLC on a regular basis or buying skins or heroes or whatever else it may be for the particular game. But in Minecraft, the system is literally just buying maps. You can buy maps and texture packs and skins that don't actually affect the rest of the game. There's no skin which is worth a lot. You know, there are skins you might like and consider worth paying a dollar or two for, but there's no skin that is just like objectively seen as good. In fact, most of Minecraft players never indulge in microtransactions. It's purely just a, it's there as an option thing. And the beauty of this is not only does it allow Minecraft to sustain itself, but it also allows a lot of like passionate communities to, uh, you know, spring up and to make money directly within Minecraft itself. One of the groups of people that I love in the world are entrepreneurial people. People who see, you know, like the world as like an opportunity to provide value for people in exchange for money. And people who love Minecraft enough who do this exact same thing, I find that amazing. So the number of communities that have sprung up to actually pay for their work is kind of huge when you think about it. So let's ignore Minecraft YouTubers for now because that's a whole separate discussion, right? But there are this whole map making studios that work full time on making their passions into Minecraft maps. They now get paid for their work. There are studios dedicated to making texture packs or skin packs or masher packs or whatever it may be, but they're dedicated to making things that people actually would like to pay for. And that is really cool in my opinion. The fact that whole communities of people are kind of being like indirectly employed because of Minecraft, but there's also forums that are, you know, managing to make money in the same way. There are conventions uh, like 12 a year or something that allow people to meet up with other Minecraft people 
people, and that's amazing. If you like community, if you like the spirit of people, you know, working together, working for themselves, making things for themselves, Minecraft is an amazing game for that. But here's the best thing. I love the Minecraft community. I think it's a great thing. But even if you're not a communal person, if like me, you find people to kind of drain you a little bit. You know, there's only so many hours I want to talk to people or see people or whatever every single day. That's why I like YouTube. That's why I like so many different things. But if you're like me in that same way, here's the best bit. The fact that the Minecraft community is so big is kind of something inconsequential for you. Minecraft can be the best sandbox game that you can play by yourself. There are some people playing to this day, probably don't even know what people are playing Minecraft. They just downloaded it in 2011 and kind of kept on playing by themselves. But yeah, if you want it to be a multiplayer only game, there are some people who really played once in survival and then immediately jumped into multiplayer. Minecraft is a sandbox game you can play by yourself or with other people and it fits both those things perfectly. And the fact that it's such a good sandbox, the fact that it's such a well updated sandbox with such a huge community is the reason that Minecraft is such a huge game. A lot of people, especially people who don't play Minecraft anymore who or who never played it in the first place, think that Minecraft was just in the right place at the right time. It's kind of like, you know, digital Lego, it's a replacement and therefore it obviously does well with kids and something magic happened and they just got a lot of players that way. But the truth is Minecraft was big long before any of these conclusions. Every single time Minecraft gets bigger, people find a new way to justify it. But the truth is it is just a beautifully made game which draws people in time after time after time again. There's a reason over 90 million people are playing Minecraft every single month. That's an official statistic from uh, Microsoft themselves. Again, they're a public company so they can't lie about statistics about getting in serious uh, trouble by the way. So you can in fact trust that statistic and the reason that that statistic is true is because Minecraft does so much that so many other games don't do and I hope this video hopefully helped convince you of that. So yeah, is Minecraft a game which is so overrated and you know so many kids are playing it and they're ruining it because they think it's so much better than it really is? No, that's not the case in the slightest. Minecraft is one of the best games that has ever released and it's one of the few games which has retained anyone's attention for more than a few years at a time. I've been playing Minecraft since 2011, uh, admittedly a bit on and off until 2012, but since 2012 there's not been more than a week gone past without me playing any Minecraft and some of you might say wow playing one game that long that's kind of a weird thing but the fact that I can still play it, still enjoy it and still find new things to this day, that is a beautiful thing about Minecraft. The fact that there are whole new communities and whole new sets of builds and whole new things that I'm just realizing every single time uh, I play around Minecraft, that is something that makes it one of the best games of all time in my opinion and that is why I think Minecraft is not overrated. In fact I would go as far as to say that Minecraft is underrated and I hope you all enjoyed this video discussing exactly why that is. So if you did, uh, you know, I'd appreciate a like on the video or whatever because it helps out the channel a lot. Let's know you do like this kind of commentary style thing. Share if you really liked it and subscribe if you're new around here. I make videos like this one, obviously talking about Minecraft, not about why it's so great, but just all the things to do in Minecraft and why I like Minecraft every single day on this channel. And if subscribed with notifications turned on, you'll see those daily on your homepage. Thank you very much for watching and I hope I'll see you all next time. Goodbye.